Hey everybody, what is going on? Pete Simnetti here for NYY News. There's a little rumor out there today saying that the Baltimore Orioles may look into seeing what offers would be for one Cedric Mullins. Now, people are immediately probably going to say, uh, impossible, can't happen. And I'm probably going to agree with you. <laughs> it's, it's probably impossible, it probably can't happen, but it's fun to talk about. So I'm going to come here and talk about this because why the hell not? Folks, you would probably be hard-pressed to find a better fit for these New York Yankees than Cedric Mullins. He checks all the boxes. Center field, the Yankees have a need. Lefty bat, the Yankees have a need. Speed, the Yankees have a need. Versatil- I'm not versatility, I'm sorry, athletic ability, the Yankees have a need. Leadoff hitter, the Yankees have a significant need. He f- checks all the boxes and arguably, it's hard to sit there and say, okay, well, anybody even that's been rumored as available, who would make more sense than a Cedric Mullins? Makes a ton of sense in the world if you even think about it. We'll get into what it may take after that, but look at Cedric Mullins real quick. Cedric Mullins is 27 years old. Last year, he had a 5.7 war, 30 home runs, 291 average, 175 hits, 91 runs scored, 59 RBIs, 30 Stolen bases, on base percentage 360, slugging percentage 518, OPS 878. This is one of the elite outfielders in Major League Baseball with everything he does. And no, I'm pretty sure his second half wasn't as great as his first, but still just an absolutely terrific season for Cedric Mullins. He was an all star. We know that um, ended up actually being ninth in MVP voting. He did also win a Silver Slugger Award. So if you're the Baltimore Orioles right now and you're looking at this type of thing for a guy like a Cedric Mullins, right? You're saying, hey, you know, it's almost like Brian Reynolds in a sense is that you're sitting back saying he's available. You know what I mean? And, 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 and with the Orioles, you know, we don't expect that that we're very, very close to competing. You know, he could be available, but at the end of the day, you're going to have to really knock our socks off here to make a deal work. That's the only way you move Cedric Mullins. And I tell you what, for the Orioles, it's smart. If you're the Baltimore Orioles, this is smart. This is a smart way for you to do business. Because if a team does come knock and go, hey, look, this guy fits our mold perfect. Here's what we're offering. And they throw at you, you know, maybe two top fives, two top tens. Uh, four guys overall, maybe a fifth in the lower level, and you're like, you know what? Where the Orioles? We know we got some decent young pitchers coming up. We got maybe the, arguably the best catching prospect in the game. We we see what um what's what some of the guys on the club uh, uh did this year. Your Mountcastles, your your Hayes, your Mullins. We've seen what these guys have have done and what they could potentially become. If a team goes out there, goes look, we got some some you know starting pitching prospects that are closing in that are getting close to being there, maybe we can work a deal around that. Cedric Mullins, by the way, is, you know, it's not like he has some big salary or anything coming along with him. So you would have just about every single team interested in this guy. So this is a very, very smart time for the Baltimore Orioles to consider moving him and even flirting with the idea of moving. Which again, teams are going to throw a lot out. So when it comes to the Yankees, Cedric Mullins, would be a free agent when he's, 31, when, he, when he's 31 years old. That is in 2026. So you'll have him for 22, 23, 24, 25, 26. So you have him for four full seasons moving forward. And again, for any team, any team at all, that is huge. That is absolutely huge. For every team, that is something that you want. So when you look at the Yankees, you know, let's get to it. Um, first of all, I'm going to say this right now. One, there's two, there's two things here. One, I don't think the Orioles would be extremely inclined to say, hey, Yanks, here you go. They might be, but still, if they look to compete in two to three years, they'll still be competing against somebody they traded and made the other club better. So I, I think that's the hesitancy there. And two, Brian Cashman ain't ever going to give up what it would take to land Cedric Mullins. Cedric Mullins is, again, what you would assume the Pirates would ask for, for Brian Reynolds. So, guys, you know, when you when you think about the New York Yankees, you got to think about their top prospects. 
the Baltimore Orioles have every right in the world to ask for the the top-of-the-line guys from the New York Yankees. They don't have to ask for anything less at all. They could ask for Anthony Volpe, Jason Dominguez, Oswald Peraza, Luis Hill, Clark Smith, Austin Wells, Trey Sini, uh, 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 Luis Medina, Davey Garcia, Alexander Vargas, uh, Everson Pieta, who they just added, Hayden Wesneski, um, Oswaldo Cabrera, Josh Bro. I mean, it don't matter. You can ask for whatever the hell you want if you're the Baltimore Orioles because, again, if the Yankees did want him, you, they got to knock your socks off. And first of all, at the end of the day, I don't see him doing it. When we talked about on a couple of lives and on designated spitters, when we brought up the idea of a Brian Reynolds trade, we immediately said, well, you know, I would give Jason Dominguez up in a deal like that because Brian Reynolds right now is kind of what you hope Jason Dominguez could turn into. Um, he obviously, he has this huge potential on his back. It's a lot on a young kid, only an A ball, very, very raw to professional Major League Baseball. So he has time to develop and you never know how the development could go. But again, you got Luis Heel, who I think could be attractive. Uh, Luis Medina, who could be attractive. Guys who are, you know, legitimate starting pitching prospects. Uh, Austin Wells, probably not so much considering they got Rochman, Rauch, Rauchman, Rauchman, whatever the hell his name is. But you guys know who's, if you're any interest at all in baseball, the Orioles got one of the best catching prospects in the game. Volpe, of course, they'd be interested in, but we don't see him going anywhere at all. But any of those guys, so Dominguez, Peraza, Heel, Smith. Uh, Sweeney potentially, Medina, uh, Ken Waldachuk, uh, uh, Yoandri Gomez, Garcia. I mean, it's going to take four of those guys if you're the Orioles. It's going to take four of those guys, Dominguez potentially, Heal, Medina, and let's say Gomez or Smith. I mean, if it's me, I'm a win now kind of guy. I'm going for that. I'm a win-now kind of guy. I'm a win-now kind of guy. That's the route I take. That is the route I would personally take. So I don't know about you guys, but again, just as a disclaimer, so everybody doesn't get their panties up in a bunch and go, Pete, come on. You know it can happen. This trade probably got a better chance of happening than me developing wings and flying through my damn wall right here. All right? So probably not going to happen. I know the Yankees and the Orioles made deals before, but a lot of, you know, Britain and all that was, was going to be a free agent. You know, you kind of had to move him. Mullins, the Orioles could be like, hey, you know, our offense is, is pretty nice. You know what I mean? We, our offense is, is kind of nice out there. We could keep him up there again. Maybe some pitching comes along. Maybe something decent happens and we're, we're a decent team in two to three years. It's very possible. You know, that's very possible. So they don't have to deal nobody. Same thing with the Pirates. They got some of the best young prospects in all baseball getting very, very close to the major leagues. You got to knock their socks off to make a deal. And I don't blame them. If I'm Baltimore, I'm sitting back saying, yeah, we'll we'll trade them, no doubt. Give us, you know, four of your top seven, four of your top eight, then we'll have a deal, right? Why not? Because if we can get for the one guy, maybe three starting pitching prospects that are close to being ready, maybe one of those guys is more of a serviceable guy, the other two could be legit potential, you know, one, two, threes. Sign me up. Then I then we'll talk. But until then, I ain't going to say he's not available. It's the smart move. It's a smart move by the Baltimore Orioles, a team that hasn't made tons of smart moves in the past. It's nice to see him doing something pretty smart. But Cedric Mullins would be the perfect Yankee pickup. He would be the perfect Yankee pickup for their offense. That's what they're looking. That's why Marte, day by day, day by day by day by day, Starlin Marte becomes more attractive because he really fits the Yankees well. And, you know, got a lot of fans. Well, he's older. Well, the Yankees aren't a team that's looking to win in 2026. They're looking to win in 2022. And that's the mindset you got to have as a Yankees GM is that you are looking to win now, not four years from now. Because if that is your mindset, then you're playing it wrong. And you're not playing to your advantages, which is money, prospect capital, money, and prospect capital. Those are those are the New York Yankees' two Huge, huge advantages over other, club, over other clubs. They can sign whoever the hell they want, typically, not on their house, a little different. And they got prospect capital where they go make trades when they need to. And they got these guys that are closing in the major leagues also to help them. So they got the best of both worlds right now. They just got to use utilize it that way. The New York Yankees should be the Marvel character, the juggernaut. 
That that's what they that's what they need to be. They need to be the juggernaut. They need to just be able to run through walls nonstop, break through everything, and go look. We're gonna we're gonna juggernaut through everything. That's how we that's how we run our business here. Has it been like that? Mullins to the Yankees is likely not happening whatsoever. But boy, oh boy, Cedric Mullins would be an amazing pickup for the New York Yankees and really would fit them just about better than anybody that's available out there. So you guys let me know in the comment section below. What do you think about this move? You think there's any possibility at all? And if there is, would you be willing to give up a Dominguez? Would you be willing to give up, you know, two or three of your top seven? Maybe four of your top seven, eight, nine? Would you be willing to do that for a guy like Cedric Mullins sending those guys over to who could potentially in the future be a rival Baltimore Orioles team? Even though the Yankees <laughs> struggle against bad Baltimore Orioles teams, so it really doesn't matter. But, guys, if you have not subscribed, please go ahead and do so. Put your notifications on so you never miss a NYY News video. Again, I am Pete Simonetti. Talk to you guys again very, very soon. Thank you. Yeah,